In this lesson, I'm going to go over, once again, the vertex form of the quadratic. And I'm also going to show you how to find the equation by looking at the graph. So what are the little keys that help you figure out what the A value is and how to plug that vertex in to give you your equation? So going back over what we did yesterday, I gave you the equation um, y equals a x minus h squared plus k. So if you remove all the multicolored things here and just look at the purple, you'd see I'd have the graph y equals x squared. That is the parent function or the most basic equation for a quadratic. So these are your transformations. The h and the k are things that affect the y value. So the y value of your coordinate and the h affects the, k, the x values. So if you keep those two straight, that these are only changes to y and in the bracket is the only change to an x, it will help you understand what's happening. So remember that the a tells you, and again it's vertical, y's are vertical, k is vertical, see? Vertical, vertical. h, horizontal, actually that's nice because it H means horizontal, or it stands for horizontal. So A tells you the vertical stretch if A is greater than one, or compression if A is between zero and one. Don't say less than one because less than one could be a stretch with a reflection, right? When you go negative, you have a reflection. So it's going to be a decimal or a fraction less than one. 3 halves is not a fraction less than 1. That would be a stretch, right? So you have to make sure it's between 0 and 1. If it is negative, the parabola is concave down. Concave down by the frown. Okay, so the h is the horizontal shift. x minus 2 squared means you move the parabola right two units. Remember I told you yesterday x's are weird. So if it says minus 2, you're going to move to the right two. And that's because if you look at the equation here, it's actually x minus the h. So if I said um, the vertex was 2, 3, and you plugged in 2 here, it would say x minus 2, right? Okay, so we have y equals x plus 4 squared. It means it moves left 4 units. Because this is positive, it means moves to the left. It means we've plugged in a negative 4 to make it positive in the equation. And k is just a vertical shift up or down k units. So if k is positive, you go up. If k is negative, you go down. Okay, so now what I want to do is look at three little equations here, and I want to see if you can figure out what the vertex would be for each of these equations. So you need to be able to look at, at an equation and say, where the vertex is. So this one, it says plus two. So that means I took my parabola and I, I'm gonna show you with my hands. Usually I, I'm a little more animated on a, on a blackboard. If you have your parabola here and I move it to the left two and down three, boom, 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 you can see that I've moved my vertex to become minus two and minus three because the original vertex of that, that quadratic or the parabola, I wish I had another piece of paper here that I could write on for you, but if the, if the parabola, I'm gonna write it over here. So here's your basic parabola here. If I move it to the left two and down three, my vertex is going to be here, right? Just like that, I just moved it over and through that point. Okay, so the vertex for this is going to be minus 2 and minus 3. So I shifted it. H and K are going to give you the vertex. And remember that you have to change the sign of what's in an equation. So if I asked you where's the vertex here, you'd say, well, I went to the right 3. So 1, 2, 3. And then I went up 2. So now I'm over here. Let's put that on a, on a nicer graph here and get my pencil. Okay, so let, let's draw these ones so we'll have a little sketch of them as well. 
Okay, so the first one here, we went to the left too. So remember the problem was here. That's my y equals x squared. And I shifted it to the left two and down three. Boom, boom, boom. There's the vertex. Left two, down three. So now this is my, my problem is going to be over here. So this one, the vertex is now going to be three and two. Now you might notice that for each of these equations, I don't have an A value. Uh, well, I have an A value, but it's one, right? The A is one here. So that's the same as the A value on Y equals X squared. So I'm not changing the shape of that parabola. I'm just shifting it left, right, up and down. Okay, so three and two. So let's move that parabola over three units to the right. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and up to one, two, and here's my new vertex. Same shape. And finally, the last one here, the vertex is going to be, take a look at it here, so it's going to be one, so opposite sign, same sign. So one, one is my vertex. And something else you should see right here, and that is this little negative sign here. And that's telling me that the parabola is going to be concave down. So I'm going to go right one, up one. So there's my one, one. And now it's going to be concave down like that. Okay, so you should be able to make quick sketches of, of parabolas like that, looking at the equations. And now we're going to talk about how do you determine the equation by looking at the graph? And I've drawn a whole bunch of graphs here that took me a considerable amount of time because I love you. And here we go. So when you're looking at a parabola, here's my basic y equals x squared, the parent function, the most basic parabola. It has a very specific shape and characteristics about what happens as I move one, two, or three units to the right. So when I go over one and I plug one into this equation, I get one. So I went from here to here was a step of one, over one, up one. Now if I start from here and I go over one more, that's going to take me to this height here, two squared. So when I'm at two, two squared is four, right? So from here to here, not from the zero, but from here to here, I've gone up three in height. And if I go over one more, so that's going to four, and I square four, so this is one squared, two squared, three squared, whoops, three squared, sorry, is nine. So when I go from here, from four up to nine, I've gone up five units. So there's a step pattern of over one, up one, over one, up three, over one, up five. And that determines when there, that's what happens when the A value is one. So if I look at this graph here, I've just drawn half of the parabola. You can imagine the other half is the very same on the other side. And if I said I went over one, so here's, this is one on my x-axis, but I've gone up four. So this point is one and four. So instead of going over one and going up one, as I did on y equals x squared, I've gone up four, one, four. So that means this one is four times the height of where it should be. So that means my a is going to be equal to 4. Now we can check the second one as well. So if I went over um, to 2, when I'm at 2, I'm at 16. This is the point 2 and 16. And on the original function, when I was at 2, I should have been at 4. So I've gone 4 times higher. This is 4 right? This is 4 times 4 is 16. 
So that means this equation is y equals 4x squared. And you can see as well that 4 from 4 to 16, this distance here would be 12 units instead of 3. So it's 4 times what that one should be. Okay, let's take a look at this one here. So the writing's kind of small, but I think you can see this is 1, 1, 1, 1 here, and 4, 3. So I don't have the very next point over, so I don't have the value for 2, but I have the value for 4. So from 1 to 4 is 3 steps to the right. And I'm going from a height of 1 to a height of 3. So I've gone up 2. Okay, so I was at 1, I went to 3. I'm looking at the y values. So this was 1, 1. Let me make that a little bit bigger here. And so I've gone from 1, 1 to 4, 3. So I've gone 3 to the right from the vertex. So I'm always checking from the vertex because I know from the vertex in the original function should be 1, 1, right? Go over 1, go up 1. But in this one, I'm going over 3 and I'm going up 2. How many would have I had to gone up if I went over 3 from the vertex of y equals x squared? Well, what's 3 squared? 3 squared is 9, right? 3 squared equals 9. So this would be on y equals x squared. When x is 3, I get 9. But on this graph, when x is 3, I'm only going up 2. So I'm going up so if I go um, from vertex over three units, I go up two. And I should go up nine, up to nine. So that's two ninths. So you can see it is compressed. So that's that's going to give me y equals 2 ninths is my a value. And what am I going to put in for my h and k? Well, it's 1, 1. So that's x minus 1 and plus 1. And there's your equation for that parabola. Okay, let's take a look at this one here. Hopefully once we've done a few of them, it'll start to click. And you'll say, oh, now I get it, now I get it. I love it when that happens. You have that aha moment. Okay, so my vertex here is minus 2 and 2. Let's start differently this time, and we'll write out y equals, we'll leave a space for the a, and we have x minus h squared plus k. So what's my h value here? The h is minus 2 because the vertex is h, k, right? So I'm going to plug in minus 2, which means plus 2 and squared. Oh, forgot the squared on this one over here. Okay, so I have x plus 2 squared, and it's shifted up 2. So the vertex went left, I went left 2, up 2. And I also know something about the a value that I can say without measuring. I know it's concave down, so it has to be negative. Okay, so what is the a value for this function? I'm at minus 2, and I go all the way over to 5. So how many spaces did I go if I go from minus 2 to 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? So I went 7, and then I went down from 2. So this height was 2 here. I went down 2. Okay, so I went down, so I know it's negative. It's kind of like a negative slope or positive. So this is concave down. So I went over seven and I only went down two. So it doesn't matter if I went over seven and up two or down two, I know that it's going to be negative. So if I went to my original y equals x squared and I went over seven, what is seven squared? Well, seven squared should be 49 but I only went two units. So therefore, two over 49 
is going to be my a value. And in this case, it's negative. So minus 2 over 49. Okay, I'm, hope, I'm hope, hoping you're going, oh, yeah, now I, get, now I know what she's talking about. Okay, let's take a look at this one here. So we have a vertex of 3, 2. So I'm going to write out y equals, I leave room for the a, it's going to be positive this time because it's concave up, and I have x, the vertex is 3, 2, so minus 3 squared, the k value is 2, so I went to the right through 3, sorry, and up 2. Now I need to figure out what the a value is. Now when we get into um, one of the other lessons just down the road here a bit, we're going to find an algebraic way of calculating the a value. So not all will be lost if this is really confusing you a lot. Okay, so let's see. We're at 3 and we went to 5. So from 3 to 5, that means I went 2 units this way. 2 units, right? So um, if I went over 2 units and I went up, how high did I go up? Don't say 8 because I started at 2. So I'm only looking at the distance from here to here. So this is 6, right? So I went 6 units. So this is stretched because on the original function, if I went over 2, I should have only gone up 4. So that means the a value is going to be bigger than 1. And I went up 6 instead of 4. 6 instead of 4. So that means the a value is 3 halves. Okay. I have one more to do for you, and that's this one down here. So let's try again. Let's see. Maybe you can figure this one out on your own now. So the vertex is 2, 1. So I'm going to write y equals x, 2, so minus 2 squared plus 1. So I went 2 to the right and up 1. Okay, so here's the next point they give me, or this one. I'm going to go to the right because I just like going to the right. I know it's going to be negative, so let's put a negative sign in to identify that it's concave down. And going from 2 to 5 is 3 units. So I went over 3 from the vertex. So if I went over 3 from this vertex, 1, 2, 3, I should be at a height of 9, because 3 squared is 9. But what happens here? If I go over 3, I have a change of 1, 2, 3. So I went over 3 and down 3. Notice that the height here was 1, and I've gone down to minus 2. So a height, of, height change was 3 here. So, um, I went 3, but I should have gone 9 in the regular parabola. So that means this function has been compressed. Or instead of it being this way, it's going to be a little more this way, right? Compressed it. I know it's kind of pressed from the bottom. So it went 3 instead of 9, so that's 3 ninths of what it should have been. Or you could reduce your fraction and you would say one third x minus two squared plus one. Okay, so I, I hope that helps you understand how you can determine an equation by looking at the graph and by using what you know the parent function should be looking like or how far, how high up it goes for each one of these little steps. And that helps you to determine the a value without using any algebra and just by using what we call inspection. Okay, so leave me some comments. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, the more subscribers I have, the more people will find the channel and um, the happier you'll make a lot of other students. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.